Hello everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe with Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer. I'm here taking a look at uh, Jelly Bean Android 4.1 as it appears on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus phone. This is a developer ROM, it is not the official release. However, uh, I think you'll find that uh, it's interesting enough to take a look at anyway. This is a uh, very standard um, ice cream, or I'm sorry, <laughs> boy it's going to be a while. This is standard jelly bean. As you can see, it's very quick, it's very smooth, it's very slick. It's almost too fast in some cases. But for those of you wondering just how fast it really is, well, there you go. So let's take a look at a couple of the uh, more interesting features. Again, I apologize that you're listening to Pokemon in the background, but that'll be good for simulating noise. The biggest thing that everybody talks about, of course, is uh, Google Now. By simply swiping up on from the uh, uh, icon tray down here, you'll get these certain cards that will give you information pertinent to your current situation. It'll uh, show you um, how far you are away from home, how much time there is until you get there. Uh, it'll show you weather. It'll show you sports teams you've recently followed, all sorts of interesting things. Um, but for the most part, uh, it is pretty much um, uh, an aggregate of information that you personally would find useful. The more you use Google and its tools, um, and of course opting in, the uh, more that uh, this will provide you with useful information. All right, so first off, we are in uh, hot speaking mode. So if I want to activate the speech recognizer, I can just simply say the G word. If I say it, it'll take off. Uh, I can say the G word and it'll pick up and we can actually start our searches. Now, the improved voice search is one of the things that people were very excited about. So let's take a look at just how good this is. Google. Of course, my, my microphone's covered. I'll put a little something underneath that so you might they might actually be able to hear me. Oops. Well, there we go. There. Google. What is the temperature in Las Cruces, New Mexico? And there you go. Las Cruces, New Mexico gives us the full temperature. Let me turn the audio up here a little bit in case there's speech. Excellent. Google. Can't do it from there. You got to go back. All right, Google. How tall is the Eiffel Tower? There you go. And there are also web results down below. Let's try something else. What is the temperature in Wenatchee, Washington? Oh, that's a good Indian name. And there you go. Now sometimes she reads and sometimes she doesn't. I think it's a flaw of the ROM currently. Uh, or something has to be installed extra to make that work. I've been through so many installs of this ROM. But as you can see, the information is quick and accurate. But what if you don't care about today? What will the temperature be in Los Angeles next Tuesday? And there you go. Yeah, let's see, that didn't quite work as well as it did last time. But as you can see, I do have the information available. Los Angeles and Tuesday. Let me try the uh, search I did before. What will the temperature be like in Los Angeles on Tuesday? Hmm. Again, not quite what I was hoping for. But again, the information was provided. Now, um, obviously, it's uh, more useful for things like weather and travel. Um, so let's see. Let's try something else. It will not work with calendaring type events or things like that, but it will tell you some basic information. Let's try something I don't think it'll find. What is the fastest land animal on Earth? Now you'll notice we didn't get a card and we actually got Google results, but you'll notice that they're not just bringing up a browser window and throwing it at us. They're actually giving us useful possible tips and as you can see within the first four I get that the fastest land animal is the cheetah. And if you're wondering where that's from, that's from airplane. I won't ask the other questions. Let's ask something a little more crazy. When does Avengers play in Glendale? And again, it gives us some basic show times for Glendale. Of course, it doesn't give me Glendale, Arizona. It gives me Glendale, California. 
But that probably, oh, there we go, Avengers Showtimes in Glendale, Arizona. So that would have actually worked out. You also get things like places and images as well down here at the bottom. You can flip over from the straight Google search to something more useful. How far is the moon from the sun? And again, you get basic Google search results. But again, for things that uh, are useful, it'll actually come up and give you something uh, interesting. Let's use the old one that Siri wouldn't work with. Where is the nearest abortion clinic? And there you go, Planned Parenthood, Glendale Health Center, and it's just around the corner. And from there, of course, you can get directions, and it will take you automatically to how far away it is until you get to take care of your little problem. Well, there you go. So the voice uh, recognition works very well, and it does. Uh, of course, it's got some. Uh, it's got some uh, things they need to work on, of course. But uh, again, considering this isn't even out yet, this is a lot of fun to play with. All right, so let's try something else. Google. Google. How much is a flight to New York on Saturday? Okay, we got basic search results. Now, as we do these searches, we're going to start to see our cards start to change. Uh, you, we probably won't see it in this session, but that's how you make this thing work. Uh, what was the score on last night's football game with so-and-so, so-and-so? Then the team card will start coming up. And there are more cards, too. Um, it'll show how far it is from my daily commute, things like that. It's very interesting. It's a very neat little tool. But let's talk about um, the keyboard. Let me open up a, uh, a talk session here. And uh, oh, let's see, I'll open it up with somebody who probably wouldn't care if um, I don't want to reveal anybody's mess addresses or anything. Let's go to the Amazon app. Yeah, I know, I was looking for... Pikachu crap. Okay, so we can type in here, and uh, let's take a look at the predictive typing. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm writing a message. I start typing how, and of course that's doing that ahead, but watch down here in the middle, how. Uh, it's not going to work in the Amazon app. Okay, well let's try this. Do the voice recognition. Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Not bad, huh? That was pretty quick. A lot faster than the old speech recognition. Uh, let's see. Um, land before time. Then you can tap to pause. And then you get your thing. Uh, let's see. What else is that? What's something really long? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, here we go. Scenes from the class struggle in Beverly Hills. There you go. See how fast that is? Oops. <laughs> U.S. citizens. Alright, so there you go. Um, and as promised, you can take this offline. So let's um, let's get rid of all this. Of course, taking it offline will probably freak Amazon out, but let's do it anyway. Airplane mode. Alright, no more data. As you can see, no data. So let's take a look. Yes, yeah, Pikachu. Scenes from the class struggle in Beverly Hills. I don't know what it's doing there. That's weird. All right, let me see. Let me try this again. I don't know what it was doing there. That was creepy. Uh, let's see. What was some, what was the other thing we searched? Let's try searching for something absolutely new. Um, God, I'm trying to think of something long that I can use. Hello. How are you today? This is a sample of text from my speech. I was trying to load from Amazon. That's the problem. All right, all right, all right. So that's, as you can see, though, uh, it did indeed type in very, very quickly. Let me see if I can find something else that won't be um, totally tied to that. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I don't have anything to type into. Okay, let's uh, compose an email, and I'll kind of cover this. I'll compose a new email. There we go. All right, I don't care if you have my email address. It's all over the place anyway. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's just go to compose the email. Hello, Mother. This is a sample email I wrote with my voice using Google Android Jelly Bean. Period. It works pretty well, even if I'm offline. 
As you can see, this works out fairly decent, but not quite as fast as if I were online as well. And not bad. And, if, and since you can, um, you can hear Pokemon pretty well on right now on this recorder, you can also hear. Um, that's also uh, audible to the phone. So again, you know, considering that this was um, done in a, a fairly noisy environment, and uh, there you go, uh, it it works remarkably well to take this phone offline and uh, and do that. Let's turn airplane mode back off, get our data back before we take a look at the next thing. So now you've seen the speech recognition, you've seen this buttery UI, which is absolutely true. Uh, everything that they said about that was true. Let's take a look at maps. One of the things new about maps, and this isn't Jelly Bean specific, but we're here anyway, uh, is the ability to do offline mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's picking up my GPS right now. So I'm going to scroll out here and give us a pretty good view of the greater Phoenix area. All right, make available offline, and it's giving me the areas that I would want. So let's uh, squeeze this in or out. See, now the, the further I go out, the bigger the estimated size of the map gets. I can move closer, and the size is now down to 4 megs. But if I want to get pretty much everywhere in Phoenix, well, of course there's Apache Junction down there. Let's open this up just a little bit. And let's move it to here so that I get Mesa, Chandler, and all that good stuff too. As you can see, my offline size is going to be 63 megs. And when I hit done, it'll go ahead and pull those maps down for me. And as you can see, there it goes. Downloading it goes. Let's take a look at some of the, um, the uh, new notifications. As you can see here, I have a notification of Google+, Plus. I have a downloading map, and it's still trying to pick up my GPS's. Um, everything is a dead hole in my, uh, my uh, office here, so I'm not surprised it's still searching. Uh, but as you saw earlier, now um, as you may have seen in the demo, I can't get rid of that one, can't get rid of that one, that one's busy, but you can dismiss. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's the best way for me to show this off? Uh, let's see. Um, sending myself an email. That sounds good. So let me, uh, oops, let me send myself an email here. Actually, I'll just send this one here. I'll send it to myself, the one I was working to, working with. Uh, oops, trying to have some faction of privacy here. Test. All right, so now you get to see the email, and off it'll go, and it should reappear shortly. All right. Yeah, my computer got it already. And we'll wait for it to ping off on my phone. As you can see, the maps are still downloading, which are sucking everything down. So we can pause that. And let's see if uh, mail comes in soon. I don't have it set for uh, pinging too quickly. But we're all waiting for the mail to come in. Um, let's see, what are some of the other uh, factors of Jelly Bean? Well, the camera, right? The new camera features. Unfortunately, um, it's hard for me to take a picture here, but uh, let me see if I can show you something. Uh, let me see if I can just throw something in front of this thing. Uh, let's see. How about the backside of Darth Vader here? Can I get that? There we go. Good. Perfect. All right. So as I snap the picture, notice it's auto-focusing for me. I can manually focus if I want. But as you can see, it's a little slicker in the way that it focuses. I'll take the picture, and off it goes to the side. Did you see that? I can immediately zip right on back over here. Um, I don't like that one. Deleted. Poof, it's gone. Oops. Hang on a second. If you scroll at it. Oh, you have to be in the, you have to be pinched down. There you go. Now I pinched and I'm inside the, um, you know, let me get rid of that. All right, let me go back. All right, so we're back here at the camera. You can see the camera, but the camera's down, so it's going to be black. I'll scroll over. Now I can't get rid of it here. This is a preview, but if I pinch down, it puts me into film strip mode, and now from here, I can dismiss it. Deleted. Poof. And of course, you can zoom in, do whatever. I already posted how, uh, inappropriate that was all right and then of course you can back yourself back into the camera what's really interesting is as is, is you can see that the camera's active right here if you are over here and you're panning through 
No. As you can see, the camera itself is in the film strip. I thought that was kind of a neat touch. Oh, did we get our email in? Oh, we got a Google Plus notification. So let's take a look at this. So we can take this, and usually we could do a double finger grab. Unfortunately, not to be. Did I not send that message? Is that the problem? Oh, it, it came in too fast. That's the problem. Okay. Well, I can. Uh, I'll see if another email comes in while we're waiting. Um, so the camera uh, functionality is considerably improved as well as you can see uh, it does things a little more intelligently um, let's see if there's anything else I can show you of course um, the widgets are pretty interesting if you try to add a widget um, on the phone and there's no room for it as you can see it'll try I'm trying to record a video here Brian oh. as you can see it'll push the icons out of the way to try to make room for uh, for the uh, widget. Okay, I want the widget and the widget goes in. Perfect. And of course you can also do um, things like resizing pretty much any widget. And notice when I resized it, it shoved that guy out of the way. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, well, I guess I'm not going to get that uh, I'm not going to get that email in that I was hoping for. Uh, let me see here. Well, while you're staring at my screen, let me see if I can send an email from my computer if that will be uh, quicker. Uh, yeah, Jelly Bean is very impressive, especially considering this is really just a, an early release. Um, let me see if I can make this happen here. Alright, you can enjoy the Pokemon while you wait. Alright, so I'm going to send it. Let's see if the phone will pick it up before it picks up on the other thing. Yeah, not looking good. I already picked it up. All right. Well, let me see here. Uh, let's see if I can force some other notification to happen. Um, I wanted you guys to see these because they were pretty cool. Um, yeah, download still paused there. Maybe if I just go ahead and let it finish. Oh, there we go. All right. So, there we go. Now you can see... Uh, how the notifications look now they have icons and they're cool looking and look at this ah, how about that I can actually bring that down using the two fingers right that way I really never have to go into email I know this is probably something I can deal with later we'll just dismiss it very cool very revolutionary I love it um, and any I any of the notifications that appear at the top will automatically be slightly more opened um, so that you can see more of the information without actually having to double finger slide it. Well, um, that's pretty much uh, some of the real basic functionality of uh, 4.1. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at that, and thanks for bearing with me with uh, my various interruptions and listening to Pokemon in the background. This is Shane Armonroe with Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer. We'll see you next time.